I am Amanda Riva, and I am the CEO and founder of THP. This is our house. We renovated it about a year ago, and classic home reno story, bought it, lived in it briefly, and then moved out for a year, and we have been in it for about nine months now. This house was very much unloved. It had a lot of opportunity, a beautiful shell, and it just needed a little bit of TLC to bring it to its full potential. And we were really excited that on the third time we came to see it, we, we really struck a chord with the house and found our vision for it. Our front hall was one of the first areas that we decided we needed to add. So we decided to turn part of our porch into a vestibule with heated floors, and that allowed us to reclaim what was the coat closet and actually turn it into a powder room on the ground floor. The floral print in our powder room was something that I had seen in a magazine while we were researching different ideas, and I loved the boldness of it, I loved the classic feel, and I just thought that it would really help us to augment some of the old world charms that the house already had. I think that the sink we put in our powder room is the smallest sink in the world. It is actually only 10 inches wide off the wall, and we had to have the faucet cut and customized in order to actually even be able to fit it over the sink. We love it, and we get so many compliments. People walk in, they're like, how did you get a sink that small into this space? A lot of research on Wayfair. <laughs> <laughs> So in the living room, we had to change the fireplace. The original one was crazy. It was bricks that had been painted white and the bricks sort of came off the wall towards you like it was attacking you. So we redid the mantle to make sure that we were keeping some of the charm of the first house and bringing it into our new home now. So the addition that we did was pretty substantial. Not only did we gut the entire house, we also ripped the back off. And when we did that, the goal is that we wanted to create an eating space and a living environment at the back that was private, that was filled with light, but that also gave us a space to be able to be a family and entertain simultaneously. Cooking is something that's a really big part of our family and our family's life. So we really wanted to make sure that our kitchen was a reflection of that. A big thing with how we renoed the kitchen is that it had to accommodate for eat-in entertaining. And the two things we did to accommodate for that was one, we built a giant banquette, an eight-foot table, so that a lot of nights will actually entertain in the kitchen as opposed to using the dining room. The other thing that we did, and everyone thought I was crazy, is that we built a giant sink. And the idea was that if we were going to entertain, it was family style on the island, family seating at the table, and you could stack all the dishes and not see them in the sink. <laughs> all the exterior doors and windows are brand new for the house. We wanted to make sure that we embrace some of the old world charm of a classic double hung window. And at the back of the house, we were lucky that we had the space to also add a transom so we could really maximize the light exposure into the back of the house. The pantry is probably my favorite space in the house. It's only eight feet by 10 feet, but I love it so much. With the pantry, it started with the doors. The swinging doors in the front of our pantry are over a thousand year old. They're Egyptian, made from raw wood with the original cast iron grating. They were something we wanted to anchor the ground floor around and really make a showpiece. And it just creates this sense of warmth in the home that I think is incredibly unique and to us really adds a, a very personal touch. <laughs>